Welcome back, Trader Troops. So, CRO, Crypto.com, crypto has been absolutely exploding. One of the craziest charts we've seen in the past couple of months. Up around 1,000% off of its lows is on a logarithmic scale. Yeah, 1,000%. Hopefully, if you bought this, well, if you bought this anywhere, you are making money. So, I'm going to run you down through the technicals. I'm going to tell you where I think it's going. And we also do have a little bit of a warning sign. I'm going to share all of that with you in this video. So, make sure to watch it all the way until the end. And smash that like button and subscribe if you're new because I post the latest and greatest, greatest cryptocurrency technical analysis on the internet. And hit that bell notification icon so you never miss another post because I post in real time, so you can easily miss it. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys on the weekly time frame is going to be the potential for CRO to go higher. I know that's all people care about, so let's talk about that, right? So let's go on a logarithmic scale, and what I've done here is I just took an a, or I just took a Fibonacci extension tool, okay, right here. I went from the low to the high of the previous bull run before this massive bull run here, which was, if we measure that out, about 400%, so we've now destroyed that previous bull run a thousand percent so double that more than double that all right so if you take a look this is on a linear scale right all i've done is i've gone to a log scale and i've done the fibonacci extension tool from this low to that high and we've got some fibonacci extensions so if we take a look we just recently blew past the 1.618 fibonacci extension which usually is a pretty strong area of resistance especially in these sort of parabolic moves now, when we have some ultra parabolic moves, we usually tend to blow this 1.618 out of the water and usually actually end up going much higher to that 2.0 Fibonacci extension level right there, which if you can't see that, that's at a roughly $1.37. So from current price, that gives us more room, about 46%, for, let's call it 50% higher from current price, and it does look like it has the momentum to reach that price eventually. If we take a look at RSI, however, there is a little bit of a bearish sign here, and that is the fact that the last time we were this high up on RSI, roughly in the 92 area, we did end up turning down, and it was quite the drop, right? From this high to this low, that was about a 72% drop. Not saying that CRO is going to drop 72%, but just the fact that we are in this area in the RSI tells us that there's probably limited upside potential as of right now in the short term, okay? So if we drop that lower and we drop down to a smaller time frame, like the four hour chart, actually the one hour chart, we're gonna see that we just recently completed an ABCD pattern and we're gonna get off that logarithmic scale. All right, so we have this ABCD pattern, ABCD. This just represents an equivalent move higher from this move right in here. Again, this is on a one hour time frame, so this is pretty short term stuff. But you can see around 94.7, 94 cents. Okay, it was that ABCD completion point, and you can clearly see that that was pretty much the exact top as of right now. Now, is this going to be the top for a long time? Who knows? Definitely do expect some consolidation in this area because, again, we are up a thousand percent off of the lows. So here's what I think is going to happen next on CRO. Also, take a look at RSI. Look at how RSI is now coming back down from being overbought. That is also a very bearish sign, okay? So, so CRO may need a little bit more time before it continues its destructive path to the upside. So where do we think CRO is going to go next? Well, something interesting that I found is that we, if we add the 50-hour moving average and the 20-hour moving average, we can see that CRO, for the most part, when it does pull back, it pulls right back into these moving averages, kind of like a moving average band, right? So if you're trying to find an area to buy CRO, which I can't really recommend it, not that I ever recommend financial advice, this is not financial advice, I can't recommend it just because, in my opinion, I think that we are, you know, we're a thousand percent off the lows. Usually when we get these insane moves to the upside, we tend to have some pretty serious pullbacks. But nonetheless, if you're trying to capture another move higher, which we do still have potential for a dollar thirty-seven after all, then I'd probably be looking to find an area in this little moving average band right in here. And if we wanted to find some structural support, we could always do something like this, something along the lines of, yeah, like that. A little bit of a fat zone there. Honestly, it might need to be a little bit smaller, something like that. If you don't know, I like to keep it about an inch thick. All right, so that was that's going to be our level of support for right now on CRO. So don't be surprised if we do end up taking a pullback, okay, because we are on that ABCD completion point. We're we're in a level of resistance, so I can't stress this enough. We might need a little bit more time before we continue higher. 
but that also offers an opportunity to buy this on the dip. And as you can see, the 20 and 50 hour moving averages have been a pretty safe spot to be buying CROs. So that number is going to be roughly between 83 cents and 80 cents. And if you are managing to capture some buy points in that area, then your target is probably going to be $1.37. That's best case scenario. And that's going to be 64% higher. All right. So be on the lookout for a pullback on CRO in the next couple of hours here. This is why you hit the bell notification icon because we're trading on an hourly chart. So this can change in a matter of hours, right? So hit that bell notification icon, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, smash up that like button, especially because that helps the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're interested in learning how I trade, check out the mentoring program link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.